Now lunch is here, so we're about to finish, which is great. you want me to do another pass or just road to lunch? I want you to pass now. So I'll be doing another pass headed back down rather than going to lunch straight away but then the grain cart still has to unload in the truck so there's quite a few steps that need to happen before we're all ready to have lunch. So now I'm roading over to my next pass. Just pull straight ahead and line up so that I can dump in you. Okay. You've got to pull in a little bit more to the field because I can't go on the other side of you there. So You've got to pull the grain cart more into the field because I can't bring the combine on the other side of you. And now just pull ahead straight. So now I'm going to dump in the grain cart. Just go ahead and stop there. Uh, I'm a little bit having issues lining up to things today. Where are you going? You, you got, you've, you've got to just stay there so I can, I can unload in you. No, I was just lining up again. I didn't even turn it on. The, our grain car driver started taking off and I'm like, oh my gosh, where are you going? Okay, this should be better. There we go. And Trevor also has to unload, so you've just got to stay here for a second. He's taking off on us and headed to lunch. Gosh, that's funny. The grain's looking fairly clean in the tank, so that's a good thing. It looks like our sieve setting, which um, determines how much chaff is separated from, from the wheat is good. So now I'll line up to where my dad is. My dad's parked very, very close to lunch. Oh my goodness. So I'll park here, idle my machine down, let it rest for a moment. Now here at lunch with dad. What's happening? Everything. Everything's happening to you. Going good so far? Could be worse. <laughs> we got all three combines going. It's a miracle. It is a miracle. Now we just finished lunch and we're headed back to the combines. How do you feel about your first official day as a combine driver? Oh, I'm getting better at it. So you enjoy it? Yeah, I like it. It's fun. And Mine's you're straight, true. Yeah. And you're in your Kate's egg shirt. Got a red. Now I'm headed back in the combine. Poor Trevor because his air conditioning isn't working, but there should be people out to fix it very shortly. I just turned the combine on, raised the header a little bit, watch my dad go through. I brought a cookie and a muffin from lunch. So I'm gonna stash that away in my Kate's egg tote. Now we have to head back to the other end of the field where we started from. Nope. Waving at grandpa driving by. No, what you're going to do before you go up to that end, we're going to put it in this other red truck down here when he comes out of the field. In what truck? That one. The red one. Copy. Just pull in 
exciting. My dad and Trevor are going to go by almost simultaneously here in a minute with nearly full tank. Very full actually. Trevor's combine has a bigger grain tank because it has these little tiny extensions on the top so it maybe holds 10 more bushels so it doesn't fill up quite as fast. Excited to be on the last pass of this field and get on to the next because we've got a lot of fields to get through in a short period of time. So I've just finished the last pass of this field and it looks like the combines are just waiting to unload so I'll get in the back of the lineup and then we'll be roading to a new field. So I'm interested to see which field we'll be going to next. I might kick it into third gear just to drive over here faster. But I'm already going nine miles an hour and any faster would probably be too fast to drive over the furrows. I don't know if my dad's out of the combine right now or not. We might be waiting for another truck or the grain cart driver. I'm not totally sure. I haven't heard anyone talk on the radio yet, so. Do you want me to just unload in the cart? Sure. Yeah, I may have you put it in the cart. Just waiting to meet the Oh, my dad's in the uh, cart with our cart driver to help him out a little bit, to show him what to do. He's having a little bit of trouble lining up with the truck, so he needs some more lessons. Understandably so, though. Now that the cart's lined up with the truck, I'll go ahead and unload in it. I don't have that much grain anyways. I, I could have waited a little bit longer until they were done unloading in the truck, but I didn't really find any use to that. And I'll extra unload my tank here just because we're going into a new field. Do you want to get all of the grain from this field out? Now I'll fold in my auger and go and line up here with Trevor who's also just weeding. Idle it down so that I'm not running in rabbit speed while I'm just sitting. And there's my dad in the cart right now. My dad's pretty good with lessons. He's a very good at explaining things. And he taught me how to combine Trevor and every single employee we've had as well. Okay, it's not super, super. But yeah, we want to be empty. Do you want me to dust off my header? No. Go put the rest of that in that white truck. There's Trevor with his combine. Now we're going to be roading to a new field. Are we going into third? I don't know if we're going into third at all yet. And we're roading to a new field. First field of harvest is complete. Oh, it looks like we're starting this field right here. Okay. I'm third combine, it looks like. Trevor will wait a little while after my dad goes. Right along. What did you say? And then I'll wait a little good, while. I'm doing good. This field looks like it's swapped all the way around. Chris, I'm not sure you got though. A coffee. Yeah, I do. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm doing good. There's no problem yet. So, you must be at about 80% done. Yeah, I'm just getting to the, uh, the old missile site. So now turtle speed. Put the back in. The back is the part of the machine that separates the wheat and the header just brings it in. So now I've revved it back up and I'll start harvesting. So now we're very close to the grain elevator actually. We're right on the homestead property. So this field should not take too long at all. The wheat's a little bit greener here, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it a little bit slower through this pass and it's pretty heavy. Yeah, my return auger was nearly full there. In fact, it's still saying full, so I'm just gonna give it a second. Definitely watching my return auger closely here. It seems to be filling up quite fast. It's always difficult, these small little fields with three combines because you go through them so fast. Like, we'll definitely finish this today. We're now just passing the grain elevator that my great-grandfather built in the 1920s. So that's pretty cool. So I'll pick up my header just see some extra wheat here on the ground I'm going to pick up. Another field done, although this one wasn't that big. It went by super, super fast. Now my dad and Trevor are going to unload their grain. We'll be on to the next. And dinner actually is soon. We don't have much left. 
See, here's the thing about you Cornell guys. Uh, I don't know if you're just really good students or I'm just a really good teacher. <laughs> Very funny, Dad. I think it's the teaching for sure. Very thorough. <laughs> Trevor thinks hey, it's the teaching. Done. That's hilarious. But yeah, I cannot believe it. Trevor picked it up like immediately. He is like star combine driver, I might say. He can even give me tips on how to better my combine driving, which is crazy because this is my fourth year. So now I'm roading up over the hill to start in the other half of this field. And we might even get this done tonight, actually. Maybe not, though, because it's a little bit bigger than the last one we were in. Can I get a copy? I got a copy. Should I unload in the uh, tandem in the white truck? Yeah. Yeah, we might have to. It might take these guys a while to get another truck here. The little trucks are back to front to fill. Now I've started my header again and I'm going into this next field right behind my dad. I should have probably given him a little bit more space, so I'm going to slow down here. What kind of numbers are you reading on this road, Kate? 67 right now. 67? Yeah. No, it's been reading really high lately. Well, these outside rounds are probably heavier, but yeah. You might want to go extra slow in this extra green-looking weed here, Kate, because it's kind of tough. Yeah, my return auger's filling up. And your combine looks like it left a really big trail. Who mined it? Yeah. It's not right now, but it did for a little bit. Does any of the moisture reading work, work on those combines? Right down this bottom, it's 11.3 right now. Not sure, it might have got a little damp there. Now it's down to 92 again. It was getting really green, so I had to slow down substantially. You want to shut your gate off and empty the auger. I think that gate don't shut very good in that thing. It kind of leaks a lot of green into the deal. Do you have the auger empty, Luke? Yes, it's empty. A lot of radio convos happening right now. Even now, I'm only going two miles an hour and my return auger is almost maxed out. Now the tandem truck is on the road headed to the bins. Right now, we're unloading the wheat at the 15 bins. I'm now at dinner with Grandpa, and you've got a Cornell B Club hat on. Oh, yeah. I'll get on to that. You are? Yeah. You're a part of Cornell B Club? Yeah. Very nice. Well, the hat looks good on you. Yeah, does it look good? Yes. Very good. How do you think harvest is going so far? Well, I think it's going all right, considering you only got two days in it. But you should have, here's what you should have had done. Them three combines should have been sitting at the strip, ready to roll. Yes. Not sitting over there by the shop, waiting for an air conditioner, and waiting for this, and waiting for that. Yeah. Because they had 11 months to get that done. Yes. And they didn't touch a thing. Yeah, you're very right. I used to I park a combine down there. I used to work on it all summer. I'd have a combine sitting down there, and I'd go down and work. Something wrong with it all summer, I'd do that. These guys just throw them over in the corner and pick them up and ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> do this. They don't get them inside of like they used to. No, it's too bad. Well, it's too easy for them now. Too easy. They got all these fancy things with cats and air conditioning. They shut a machine down for air conditioning. What did they do if there was no air conditioning? I never run a track. Yeah, yeah. cabs are a luxury for you, right? Luxury? You never even heard of one. You go out there and get 100 degrees. Especially with the wind, I'm liking the cab right now. It's too simple. Yeah, it's nice, clean, air conditioning. And it's hot rod, he used a TV in his. Then you have Pretty soon, you're going to have to have courses in these colleges of how to run these farm machines. Yes. No, we're taking courses of, of how to run the farm machinery. We're going to, Trevor and I are taking a tractor driving class next year. Who is? 
Trevor and I at Cornell. There's a tractor driving class. Well, tell me what you do when you drive a tractor. I spent uh, oh, 70, 80 years doing it. <laughs> tell me what you do. Well, well If I was going to go to that school, tell me what they'd teach me. I don't know yet. I haven't taken the class. Oh. Well, you have to run all this computerized stuff in which you have to do. Yeah. Uh -huh. <coughs> we didn't have any of that. No. We had. <laughs> I know the computers are quite complicated now. Spend so many years in college. <laughs> Learn how to drive a tractor. Got your degree from the School of Hard Knocks. Well, when the first tractor I learned how to run, the guy had to tell me how to crank it. Crank it, wow. That must have been an old tractor. Uh uh, that wasn't old. It was new for that time of year. <laughs> no. But you had a crank, there was no starter on it. Wow. And you have to get out and know how to crank it. Otherwise, if it, they kick, if you don't get it, you pull up on it. If you don't get it all the way through, it fires and it swings your crank back and breaks your arm. That's what he was always afraid it would happen to me. That sounds scary. And then with the John Deere, he had a big round wheel. Yes. And you have to turn that thing. Yeah. And that's how you started them. Wow, that's neat. I had two or three of them. What do you have to say, Dad? Not much, Kate. <laughs> Now I'm taking a pass with Trevor in the combine and he's going to take over driving mine so I can have the evening off.